Question 7 A and B is about critical path analysis. Uh, question in this uh, part A, it says, in the context of a critical path analysis, define the term total float. Well, I'm going to come back to that one because I think it's easier to explain after I've done part B. Um, this says it's an um, uh, activity network for a building project. The activities are represented by the arcs. The number in brackets of each arc gives the time in days to complete the activity. Each activity requires one worker. The project is to be completed in the shortest possible time. Then it says complete diagram one in the answer book to show the, uh, the early event times and the late, late event times. So here it is here. So rather than do part A, I'll come back to that in a sec and do part B. Now, when you go forward through, you do a forward pass, you want the biggest number possible. So you start with naught naught here. And let's go through them. Four. And then five here. But five from there, for forward seven is bigger, so it makes that 11. Uh, then we've got um, forward nine, 13. And we've got forward six is 10. And 13 add 2 is 15, so put 15 there. Um, this one, 11 add 3, 14. And then 14, because this is a dummy, so that's 14 there. Or 11 add 10, 21 is bigger. And 15 add 4, 13 add 3, so 11 add 10 is the biggest, 21. Uh, 14 add 2, 16. And the W here, 16. And we've got 21 plus 9 is 30, which is the biggest. Now, when you get to the end, you put 30 here, and you work backwards, and you want the smallest going back. So let's just subtract. This one, because there's no, it's a dummy, there's no time, still 30. Um, then 30 take away 9 is 21. And 30 take away 5 is 25. And 21 take away nothing is 21 which is smaller than 25, so put 21 in. 21 take away 4, 17. And then we've got 21 take away 3 is 18, but 17 take away 2 is 15, which is smaller. Um, 15 subtract 9 is 6, but 17 take away 6 is 11. Uh, this one might be smaller, so we'll have to do this one first. Uh, 21 take away 10 is 11, and 21 take away 3 is 18, so 11 is smaller. Let's try this one. 11 take away 7 is smaller than these two, so we've got 4 here. 4 take away 4, 0. Okay, that's our part done. Now let's go back to the first part. It says, in the context of uh, critical path analysis, define the term total float. So if we look at something like this one, we've got 21, which is the late event time, subtract 4, which gives uh, 17, and then we subtract 15, which is the early start. So it's late event, activity time, and early start. So subtract 4, subtract 15, so that's 19 altogether. So the float would be 2, because 21 subtract 19 would give 2. So that's what the total float is. Uh, but in general terms, it is late event time, minus the activity time here, and minus the early event time. And that's part A and B done.